Hi guys, welcome to Worth It Dudes, here's your weekly entertainment news. What is better than new anime? More new anime of course. So a few weeks back we were treated to the reveal trailer for the Castlevania anime adaptation produced by Adi Shankar. Well, he's only gone and announced that he's got an Assassin's Creed anime in the works too. Shanka, who is probably best known for his work on the cult favourite movie Dread, has been a very busy bunny, and he took to Facebook to share the good news with all his fans. No release date is available as of yet, but he did say it would be an original story set in the popular Assassin's Creed universe. So, what games do you think would make good anime? Let us know in the comment section down below, we'd love to hear from you. Sad times for PS4 users. The game Cuphead would not be released on the PS4. The developer, Studio MDHR, said, Cuphead is a console exclusive for Xbox One. There will be no PS4 version. This has been brought up because in Microsoft E3 conference, most of the third party games on the show were described as Xbox One console launch exclusives. But for Cuphead, Microsoft used the phrase Xbox One console exclusive. It had many people confused. Note that the game will also be released on PC via Steam and the Microsoft Store. Wubba lubba dub dub, Rick and Morty Season 3 has finally been announced. Fans of the Adult Swim cartoon will be pleased to hear that the highly anticipated third season will premiere on July the 30th. If the episode released on April Fool's Day is anything to go by, this may very well be the best season yet. But wait! There's more. Rocket League have just added free Rick and Morty content including antennas, toppers, new boost animations and paint jobs. Well played Rocket League. Well played. You're going to need a bigger garage because Slightly Mad Studios has just revealed its full car roster of its upcoming racer, Project Cars 2, which is scheduled to be released in September. The game will feature an impressive list of 180 plus cars ranging from 9 disciplines of motorsports. Each car featured in the game has been approved by their respective manufacturers and been tested and approved by real racing drivers and test drivers. This is looking kind of impressive as I really do like my racing sims. The link in the description will show you all the available cars that will be featured in Project Cars 2. We'll be keeping a close eye on this one. Great news if you're a Spider-Man fan. Homecoming already has a sequel being promised, and what's more is it's due to kickstart the next MCU arc following the Infinity War. With a projected release date of 2019, be prepared for some big changes to the MCU, as it's also when the contracts for the current Avengers cast members is due to expire. While we're on the subject of Spider-Man, Sony and Marvel have also announced that they're working on an animated movie. All that is known at the moment is that it will be a Miles Morales story and that Shamak Moore will voice the webslinger. The game Ark Survival Evolved will be coming out of early access and moving to full release in August. The problem is that the game has risen from its £20 mark to a whopping £49.99 just for the base game. This has the community and fans in an uproar as many say the game is nowhere near ready for release. One of those people being Dean Hall, the creator of the DayZ standalone game. He expressed his thoughts on Twitter saying, The price increase for ARK is f***ing outrageous. It's greed, pure and simple. It represents a huge disconnect with the community. For once we agree with Dean on this, but we would also love to hear your opinions in the comments below.